Welcome back to the Monster Energy DreamHack Studios. We're here with a panel for the Aces RG Dream League, and we just had our second and last semi-finals of the main qualifier one. We know who's going to go to the grand finals. It's exciting stuff, to be honest. Oh, that game itself, though, I feel like Sing Sing kind of had a like real understanding of how to play the game, because he, he bought his Quelling Blade and his Mask of Madness, and he's like, I see their draft, I see how powerful they are now. Like, let's not fight them. Let's just fire them up with the Mask of Madness and just get my items and relax. I learned something new today. I what? didn't know you build Quelling Blade on that hero, but that actually is pretty good. Yeah, it's it works on the spit. Yeah. Really strong. It was really strong, and, and I mean, he did get the time from his team. Of course, Spearbreaker was pretty pretty dangerous at the beginning, and at some point it actually looks like Complexity actually made a comeback, but then Spearbreaker kind of fell off. I don't think they made a comeback, though. They were always, yeah, always well, going for and Medusa. Yeah, there was some hope, maybe, but when there's two, two cores that are death farmed, like, how can you actually win that to, game? It has to be so heartbreaking, though. Like, when you're, when you're looking at your base being destroyed by Medusa with an Aegis, and like his you whole, can't fight. You what are you gonna do? do? Was, they, they use the Phoenix spirits on him a little bit, and then he just he doesn't care. He just like stands there and still clicks. Yeah. And when he has agents, you can see it in front like that. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Indeed. Well, we have got a clip prepared for you, so it's time to go to the drawing board. Welcome back to this. Um, Okay, I've said amazing segment like like three times. This, it is amazing though. It is pretty amazing, let's be honest. We analyze the clips and we get to see what really happens in the game. Like, it, Dota, Dota's such a fast-paced game that I feel like sometimes it's just, it's so cool just to slow it down and just see exactly what each player is like trying to do or trying to accomplish in, in, in each team fight. So we're, we're about 38 minutes into the game and, okay, so let's pause here. Now, honestly, <laughs> I'm he not just sure. activates Max of Madness, he doesn't care. Yeah, he actually does not care, right? He is just standing there, all of all of Complexity are alive, and there is nothing they And can his do. entire team is behind him? And his IO is behind him? Yeah, like, like I, they also have the Vengeful Aghanim swap. Like, I don't even know. If, no, if I don't think they have an Aghanim. He has, he has, he has Manta. Manta style, he hurts. Does he not have Aghanim's yeah. and Manta? No, 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 he was starting to build it though. That would be a foreign Venge. That would be a very foreign Venge. Yes. He has 9k net worth. So not quite, not quite, but almost. Yeah, okay. Let's let's let play and see let's see what they can do. But like we've we've seen this a few seconds ago, and it's just it, Scriff. I have one complaint. This isn't the clip I asked for, by the way. I'm just I'm just I'm just flaming Scriff a little bit. He was busy doing That's some okay. other things. God knows what he was doing. Okay, so when now now, now he's now he's moving it just to get me pissed. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. I'll draw him a little love heart just to make sure. Okay. How well, that works. Uh, so so when you're in, when you're up against the Medusa like this, I mean. Really, we, we just mentioned it. What are you going to do? You have got a black hole, you've got a, a phoenix, you've got a bristleback. You want to have long fights where you can use all your ultimates and where your bristleback can just punch people down. Yeah, that's the ideal scenario. I guess um, they just send their necro books at him and he just kills them and doesn't care. Well, if you kind of look at their team as well, they kinda, the only one that, like, they have these huge ultimates like uh, black hole, spearbreaker, and phoenix egg, right? Yeah. And they can't use them on it just because of the ages. Like True. so, th it's basically like their whole their whole team is built around kind of this this one team fight. Whereas the 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 Burden United squad, because of the ages, have like two team fights in them. So they're like they they have the, they can recycle the team fight after it's finished. So and, it's and they can just stand there. They like a Medusa can live through the team fight regardless, and then come back alive yeah. even if she dies afterwards. So let's play and, and watch watch the the pain that is complexity. Like you can kind of see the tears in Enigma's eyes as he walks in. This is true. Like the thing is, they have a, a bristleback was looking pretty good for a big oh. portion of the game. But what is he gonna do against two cores? Like they're even more formed than he is. Yeah, he was wrecking. He was doing really well for himself. But then there's a Medusa backing up the gyrocopter. Yeah, and if you look at the positioning, pa oh, oh, that was a nice hook actually, straight in. Because they they initiate on uh, on Sing Sing, and he's they, like they kind of have to. Yeah, I mean, no, at some you point, definitely yeah. have to. Because you can't just let him destroy your base, because it's called Defense of the Ancient, Shiva. <laughs> well, not Defense of the Bane, yeah. you know? They're kind of, yeah, I guess you're right. They relate to each other, somehow. Yeah. yeah, so, let's play. Play, please. And then, I don't know, like, it's just pain. This is actually when Enigma gets stone-gazed. Yeah. And, that, and that is... And that, then like, the Phoenix Okay, let's pause out. here. Okay, say Enigma doesn't get stone-gazed, right? If he bl blinks in and gets, like, the god, they still don't win. I, I I don't think they win either. No. no, Medusa just comes back to life. But like you have to give it the complexity for not not giving up and fighting yeah, through this. Course. Like, but yeah, I, oh, I feel so sorry for El Enigma. Let's let's play and watch him get. They're just hitting the egg, right? They're just killing the yeah, egg. Yeah, with the BKB yeah. on. 
Sorry, just killing the egg. No, that was a really nice scream, actually. Yeah, it's really a nice. sad thing that everybody's so tanky. Yep. Uh, everybody buys back because they're thinking, hey, we've still got a black hole, Enigma's still not dead. Um, I say, yeah, oh, not oh. dead yet, because it's gonna it's gonna happen soon. And I think that uh, click does him in, does it? No, Venge is gonna kill him. He gets I think Venge is gonna kill him. Venge is gonna get... No, he's no? gonna... Venge is gonna kill the, the Spirit Breaker. Enigma is gonna come back to life, I guess. Come with me, Spire, in this game as well. I think Venge is gonna dive in soon, no? Yeah, and Venge is gonna oh, yeah, go yeah. in for the Spirit Breaker. Ooh, by the way, look, look at how hard okay. he hits! He has 20 armor on that Venge. It's, it's crazy. It's insane. It really is. But it's... Uh, well, that summed up the kind of game, really. Yeah. Venge is just zoning them off. Like go for the Rex. <laughs> Well, it's uh, I mean, it's uh, it's 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 heartbreaking to see complexity like this. Uh, would you write it down as a drafting error in this case, or laning error? No, what could they have done? I don't think it was a drafting error. I mean, well, laning error for sure. I mean, Queen of Pain died like three times to the Dragopter lane. Yeah. Like th th that cannot happen. So you have the second core in the Queen of Pain who is never gonna be as scary as the Medusa or the Dragopter because he's he's just feeding in lane. He had nothing. Yeah, there was a point in the game though when they were pushing up mid and the Bristleback was actually diving the base and you're all of a sudden like, okay, they, they can win this game if they if they win it right now. Yeah. But then then Burden just reacted to that and they were like, okay, let's not fight them at all. Let's just kind of split up and just yeah. farm them up. That's all they have to do though when yeah. they, yeah, as you say. They have the Wisp as well. So even if Sing Sing is farming or the Gyrocopter like miles away, they can always just get them back to the fight if, if yeah. they want to. So smarter lanes, that's the... Uh, that, uh I guess they Solution? definitely needed smarter lanes. I mean, I don't even think they cared for the Enigma. I'm not even sure if they warded up his jungle or not, but they just let that Enigma freeform. Like, they, didn't, they didn't care. The Wisp was crushing them. They, yeah. they should have banned the Wisp. Yeah, that triple kill but, top, holy yeah. crap. But banning the Wisp, just to get to that, because obviously Burning United is now at a stage where people first ban Phantom Lancer against them, if that's correct. I mean, it was that's the correct all move. the games we've seen. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably a good move, nonetheless. But at the same time, if you ban the PL, you only got one ban left. This time they banned out the troll. Is Io a lesser even than the evil than the troll, or is troll actually the lesser evil here? Is is troll actually ever a lesser evil? You just played against the Phantom Lancer. Did you read the Reddit thread about how you counter the Phantom Lancer? Is there a thread? Yeah, there's a thread. Yeah. You buy the wheel of discord. The veil of discord. Him. Then, you it, then it turns blue, and you always know really? where the real the one is. Yeah, the yeah, purpley purple. color stays on the main PL. But I, that's I, that's the counter. A, what is that like? Two thousand seven hundred gold. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's, it's a good killing. item. You can but you can the, have some good heroes. The with illusions that. still kill you, you, like even if you know which one the real one is. Yeah, too. but at least you can focus on the real one and nuke them down, perhaps. True. Especially when you have Lena on your team, which a lot of people now do as well. We actually have a chance to sit down. Well, well, we have a chance to sit down. I'm not sure. I think come with me is sitting down as well. Actually, let's uh, go to the winners' interview. Hello, come with me. Hello. What's up? Oh, Feels hey, we see you actually. That's great. Oh, oh cool. Hello. Yeah. So after uh, after your series that you had today against Moscow Five, I mu it must feel great to win against uh, a spear breaker. <laughs> and I I'm guess, actually uh, <laughs> seventeen percent chance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kappa. Yeah. Um, I was actually curious, like as a support. Do you do anything anything specific when you're up against a spear breaker? Like, are you trying to to watch out for how how do you prepare against a spear breaker as a support, basically? Well, mostly you just want to ward the pads that he takes charges from, so you can see when he's going somewhere, and then you can choose to bait or not. Like, you bait or you go back. But often we try to bait, and our course are just walking back anyways, and then they realize it turned back again. <laughs> they kind of know what they want to do, so we just support it. Does the, does the Shadow Blade like really throw a spanner in the works for that? Like, or how how does it work? Like, the, if he gets a Shadow Blade, are you even more worried about the Spear Breaker, or is it like? Yeah, it's really annoying. Yeah. You can't see him when he's charging. Yeah, it's huge. In in your team, like for example, in the first game when Sing Sing went to Blink Dagger on Tiny, and in the second game when you decided like I'm gonna be a core now, uh, <laughs> like do you make them decisions individually or as a as a team, or how does it work? Well, honestly, yeah, mostly yes. But I'm like I'm playing the game and I'm thinking, what am I doing in this game? What can I do? And there's not really much to do because we have a Dooza farming that they can't stop no matter what. And I can go sit with Gyro, but there's no need to do that anyway, so I can just farm instead. <laughs> yeah, true. Why did you end up going for a, a Manta style before your Aghanims? What was your decision? Oh, it's, just, it's just more damage and mobility. It's like I want to walk in in the fight to stun people and then walk away really fast so I can cancel Enigma if he goes in. 
All right. So, Actually, I, I did it once in the game, but I was scared I couldn't walk away in time because of the delay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So people, obviously, they have to ban Phantom Lancer against you because you run an amazing Phantom Lancer with your team. So that kind of leaves up other heroes, like this Wisp that you picked two games in a row. Is that a hero that you like? feel just as comfortable with as the Phantom Lancer? Or how, how yep. do you feel about the Wisp in this game right now? We love the Wisp. <laughs> we, we play plenty of Wisp, but it's usually banned, so we didn't play it so much lately. Yeah, I think it's the most picked and banned, one of the most picked and banned heroes in this tournament, actually. For sure. Yeah, it has to be. Heroes has been so strong through all patches. So tomorrow you have uh, the finals for this qualifier for uh, against Aces Polar. Are you going to do something specific to prepare for them, or is it just one of the games that comes at you and you just see what you're going to go I mean, with when you're in the draft? We just, we just practice wherever we can play, and we, we look at what they played, and we just try to think what we want to do against them initially. But it goes down to drafting on the time as well, because you never know what they want to do. Okay, you're confident, I, be I believe, for uh, Aces Polar tomorrow? Yeah, well, you always go with that mindset, right? You sure. always think you'll win. <laughs> True. Well, I, I uh, wish you good luck before you go. Actually, do you have any any shout outs to people you want to thank or say something to? Mm, shout out to 17% guys. Really <laughs> nice. I like Dora. Well, thank you for joining us and have a good evening and good luck in your game tomorrow, of course. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Well, that was it for tonight. We actually, uh, that, that was our last series. We have our finals tomorrow. It will be Burning United versus Aces Polar. It starts at the same time. Tomorrow, 1700 or 1730 rather for the pre show and 1800 for the game. That means C E C E S T. So that's summertime already. Any final words? Final thoughts from the couch? Mm. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing Aces tomorrow and seeing how Burton United like adapt their play style. Because in this game, they went, they went for the late game. And yeah. we, we know the Aces love, love their late game. You know yeah. what I mean? So I kind of, it's probably going to be a long day tomorrow, even though it's meant to be a short day. But I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Should we say that uh, the one who gets the least predictions in during this entire tournament cleans all of this glitter? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, no way, no way, because that probably would be me, I guess. Mm, I think I'm doing pretty badly too. You s you jump ships. Oh, Actually, yeah. I felt like I feel like that should be a disqualification, aka clean this up, please. Actually, that's not a good idea because if you're going to have to Yo, stay here... Yo, you have to give me a lift home. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'll clean it up. You can wait two hours. <laughs> no, thanks. I think it would be taking longer than two hours, by the way, before everything's actually gone. But uh, we're going to see tomorrow if there's any glitter left. Tomorrow, hope you join us again then for the finals of main qualifier one for the Aces RG Dream League. We'll see you then.